and welcome back. I'm Cindy and today we are making an herbal tea to get rid of headache pain. I actually woke up this morning with a little bit of a dull headache. I didn't sleep very well last night so I wanted to whip something up that could get rid of my pain and help me get through the day. So this particular tea I have used before on my husband's migraine headaches. He's prone to migraines and when I gave him this tea after about two cups it really knocked out the pain for him and then I've also used it on myself for just a minor headache and it really works. It seems to be most effective for migraines and tension headaches. And it's very simple to make. You only need two different herbs. So we're gonna start with Skullcap. Skullcap is one of the most versatile herbs that's used to treat the nervous system, but it's especially good for headaches, insomnia, anxiety, and nervous tension. And the second herb we're gonna use is one of my favorite herbs of all time, chamomile. Chamomile is mildly sedative and also anti-inflammatory. And I like to combine it with skullcap because for one, it helps kind of mask the somewhat bitter flavor of skullcap. Chamomile has a really nice flavor. Um, some people say it tastes like apples. To me, it tastes like honey. And it really just goes a long way towards making your skullcap taste a little bit more palatable. Um, I also like chamomile because it just nourishes your nerve endings, helps relax you. So I've heard that chamomile can be used for headaches alone, but for me it doesn't work as well unless I combine it with another headache herb like skullcap. But it definitely will relax you, so you might want to drink this tea when you have a chance to like lie down and not right before you have to go to work because it does have sedative properties. So just a disclaimer, just a word of warning here, both of these herbs are considered generally safe. Chamomile specifically is one of the safest herbs you can use. You can even give it to children. But as always, if you are pregnant or nursing, if you're on any type of medication, always check with your doctor to make sure herbal remedies are safe for you and always do your own research. Herbs are strong and effective medicine and there can be reactions especially if you're on some type of medication such as blood thinners, high blood pressure medicine, or anything like that. Just make sure you check with your doctor first and make sure it's safe for you to use these herbs before you try them yourself at home. There's really no danger of overdosing on these herbs or taking too much of them as long as they're safe for you to take. And in fact, Skullcap works best if you take it consistently over time. And if you are prone to headaches or migraines, you can drink a cup of Skullcap tea daily as a headache preventative. And you can also use it to treat an acute headache once it comes on, like the one I have now. So let me just talk briefly about the equipment that you'll need to make your herbal tea. An herbal tea is just an infusion of herbs into water. So you don't need very much equipment to make it at home. You will need a stainless steel glass or enamel pan. You never want to use copper or aluminum when you're working with herbs because they can react with the herbs and leach into your tea. So you don't want that. Always use stainless steel, glass, or enamel. I'm going to use this little stainless steel pan to make my tea today. Secondly, you will need a fine mesh strainer. I am using this stainless steel fine mesh strainer. These are very inexpensive. You can purchase them for around six or seven dollars. And if you're going to be working with herbs a lot, I would recommend getting one. But if you don't have one, you can also use cheesecloth or even a coffee filter. Just something that's very fine to strain your tea from your herbs. And finally, this is not necessary, but I use a just a regular tablespoon to measure out my herbs. Uh, we're going to use one part skullcap to two parts chamomile for our tea. Um, so you'll need something to measure that out and I find a tablespoon works perfectly for this recipe. But you can always just do a pinch because the, like I said, there's no chance of like using too much and you can just use your own intuition using one part skullcap, two parts chamomile, and that's fine too. But if you're like me and you like to be precise, then you can use the tablespoon. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is add two cups of water to our pan. And you can absolutely double this recipe and make four cups or a quart at once, especially if you have a bad headache. The standard dosage is two to three cups of this per day. Now I'm gonna turn the heat on medium high and we're gonna bring this water to a boil. Okay, our water's now come to a boil, so I'm gonna turn the heat off completely and then we're gonna add our herbs. So I'm gonna start with the skull cap, and as I said before, we're gonna do one part skull cap to two parts chamomile. So I'm gonna use this tablespoon and do just a little bit less than a full tablespoon of skull cap. Just gonna pour that right in the water. And then I'm gonna do two parts chamomile. So two tablespoons of chamomile. And I'm just gonna dump that right in like that. 
Then I'm gonna use my spoon just to give this a little stir, saturate the herbs. You can also pour the boiling water over the herbs, but I prefer to just dirty up one pan. And then we're gonna place a lid on the pan Cover it tightly and allow it to steep for 20 minutes. And while you're waiting for your tea to steep, it's a great time to snuggle with your pets on the couch. <laughs> That's another great remedy for a headache. All right, our timer's going off, so that means it's time to strain our tea. So first I'm gonna find a container that's large enough to hold all this liquid. It will be slightly less than two cups because the herbs will absorb some of this. Then I'm gonna take my fine mesh strainer and place it on top of the cup. We'll take the lid off and just pour the tea through the strainer into the cup. Okay, so now we've got it completely strained out. Once it's completely strained out, I'm just going to put this strainer back on top of the pan and we are left with a nice cup of herbal headache tea. And as for the leftover herbs that you have after you strain your tea, you can put these in the compost bin, or if you don't have a compost bin, you can just scatter them around outside on the ground and return them back to the earth. I always like to say a prayer of thanks to the herb, to the plant that I used, and to Mother Earth for giving me this wonderful remedy. And if you don't have access to an area where you can scatter herbs out around on the ground outside, that's okay too. You can always just place them in the garbage, in the trash, and know that they're gonna go back to the earth eventually that way anyway. So your tea's ready to drink after you strain it. Now, as I said before, skullcap can be a little bit bitter, especially if you're not used to it. Even though the chamomile does help mask the taste, it's still a little bit bitter. I find the taste very mild and pleasant, but if you don't like it or you find it hard to drink, you can add a little bit of honey, stevia, lemon, whatever you need to make it more palatable. Um, when I make it for my husband, he likes a little honey in there, makes it better for him. I just drink it plain and I don't have a problem with it, but just be warned, it might be a little bitter. But to me, a little bit of bitter tea is a lot better than having a throbbing headache. So the dosage for a headache is two to three cups daily. So you want to try to drink a quarter to a half cup every 30 minutes until your headache goes away. What I usually do is just make my cup and sip on it until my headache's gone. And then after an hour or two, if I still feel some pain, then I'll make another cup. Or if I have a really bad headache, I'll just go ahead and make a quart of tea at once and then drink some warm now and some cold later. It's really up to you and you just kind of have to play around with the dosage and see what works best. And it usually does take 30, 45 minutes to actually start working. The same thing as if you took like some over-the-counter pain reliever. It takes a little while to start working. And again, this is very relaxing and sedative. It's very nice if you have a headache to drink a cup of this and go lay down in the dark and just wait for the pain to go away. It really relaxes you. If you've ever had chamomile tea, you know what I mean. It makes you just not feel tired so much. It's just really relaxed. It almost reminds me of taking like a, a, a light muscle relaxer, which is nice if you're having tension headaches. Now, even though I found this to be an effective remedy for me and my family, um, not all herbs are gonna work for everyone. Skullcap and chamomile are widely accepted as an herbal remedy for headaches, but it's possible it might not work for you. It's definitely worth a try. You can buy both of these herbs very inexpensively and give it a try and see if it works for you. Now, one reason why it might not work is if your herbs are not of good quality or they're not fresh. Skullcap is one of these herbs you probably are not gonna find this in your local grocery grocery store, um, at least in the area where I live, I can't buy this anywhere and I have to order it through the mail. So you want to make sure if you mail order your herbs that you get them from a reputable source. I like to buy from small suppliers, small farms. I bought this skull cap from a company called Rosemary's Garden, which is just a small herb store in California that was founded by Rosemary Gladstar. She no longer owns it, but the people who run it um, are really ethical, really responsible, and they have excellent quality herbs. Um, that's where I got this skull cap. It's very fresh. And one thing that you want to look for is color. So when you get skull cap, it should be vibrantly green like this. It should not be gray or brown or lifeless. It should have some color still left to it. And then when you smell it, it should have a nice strong aroma. To me, it smells kind of like hay or grass. That's kind of a common 
uh, aroma to many herbs, but you should definitely smell a strong smell, a strong earthy smell. If you don't smell anything, chances are the herb um, no longer has any potency. So you just want to make sure it's a good quality, it's fresh, you get it from a reputable source, and I will link down below to where I purchase my herbs to my resources page if you're interested in that. Um, but if you are prone to headaches, especially migraines and tension headaches, and you're interested in herbal remedies, then having Skullcap around is really a good idea. It's very useful and not just for headaches, also for insomnia, anxiety, stress, nervous tension. It's really good for all disorders of the nervous system. And the same thing with chamomile. You want to make sure that you're getting high quality dried chamomile flowers. Now you can usually find like chamomile tea in your local grocery store. In my experience, the quality of the flowers in those teas are not the greatest. And they've probably been sprayed with all kinds of chemicals and who knows what. So I prefer to buy dried whole flowers from an herb store like Rosemary's Garden, which is where I got these. Mountain Rose Herbs is another good place. There are lots of small farms you can buy from, like Healing Spirits Herb Farm, Purple Sage Farms. Those are all places that I've ordered from and found them to have really good quality. So herbs are powerful, good medicine, but you have to have fresh, high quality herbs in order for them to do their job. And just in case it's helpful to you, I'll share with you a couple more herbs that you might wanna try for headaches in case these don't work or you don't have access to these. And you can also mix these together and create your own headache teas and your own blends. So some of the other best herbs for headaches include lemon balm. Lemon balm is relatively cheap and easy to find. You can order it online. Sometimes you can even find it in health food stores dried. It's really actually good to add. You could add it to this Skullcap and Chamomile tea blend because it adds a lemony flavor that kind of also helps mask the bitterness. And on its own, it helps to reduce headaches as well. Feverfew is another good herb for headaches, especially migraines. You want to be careful with Feverfew and not take this if you were pregnant or nursing. And also always check with your doctor before you try any new herb, especially if you are on any type of medication. I just want to make that very clear. That includes any of the herbs that I ever talk about on this channel. Um, but yeah, Feverfew is a good one for headaches if you're able to uh, take it. Lavender is another good one. It's another relaxing herb that you can add to your headache blends and then finally uh, one that I don't currently have is passion flower so any of those herbs you can combine together and make a nice headache tea and you might just have to you know experiment with them and see which one works for you if you're just starting out and you don't have access to a lot of herbs I would just recommend starting with skullcap and chamomile because that works really well for us and if you want more information on using herbs to treat headaches, um, you can check out my website at lifeplusindy.com where I'm going to have a whole blog post on this, including printable recipes for various herbal teas to help headaches. Um, because, like I said, my husband Andrew, he does suffer from migraines, not frequently, but occasionally. So I will probably be doing a lot of study on various remedies and trying them out, and I'll let you know how they work for us. And if you use herbs to treat your headaches, is there anything you do differently or any other herbs you've tried? Um, leave a comment down below and let us know. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so I'm gonna go enjoy my headache tea and relax and try to get rid of this headache. And just real quick before I go, I need to thank my viewer Chantel who bought me 20 coffees. Thank you so much Chantel. I really appreciate that. Um, and if you would like to support the channel and buy me a coffee, it's a donation of $2 or more. You can find the link down below in the description box. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who's donated and to everyone who watches my videos as well. I really appreciate all of you. All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful winter season. It is actually a beautiful winter day outside and it's a lovely day. I think I'm just going to go sit and chill and look out the window and drink my tea and try to relax. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe because I have much more natural health, natural beauty, and natural cleaning content coming up for you soon. Alright guys, see you with a new video very soon. Bye!